We are, good morning, it's Bill the Knee Pain Guru. Today is Monday, November 25th, 2019. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how knee pain creates learned helplessness. So if you have questions, this is going to be a short presentation. We're going to have questions, and as soon as we're done, we'll answer those questions. So if you have those, put those in the live chat box. Very least, say hello. Um, if you give the video a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel, as well as turn on notifications for future videos. I do these a couple times a week on various topics that people put in the live chat or in the comments section below if you're watching the replay of this. So we're going to, now we're going to get into the topic of today, which is how knee pain creates learned helplessness. And I see this a lot. It's amazing. So have you been told any or all of the following statements about your knee? That's the best your knee is going to get. There's nothing you could really do about your knee. Arthritis is just what happens when you get older. Use it or lose it. You'll just have to push through the pain. You'll have to live with the pain until you're old enough to have a knee replacement. Did you beat up your body when you were younger? Everyone your age is getting a knee replacement. You'll just have to get one too. You're a perfect candidate for a knee replacement surgery. Eventually, your knee is going to wear out. And, and the thing to pay attention to is how do you feel after you hear that information? Do you feel better? <laughs> Most people don't. Um, you feel worse. You feel hopeless. You feel helpless. You feel de depressed, angry, and frustrated. When you hear those statements or, or what's been told to you about your knee, do you really think you can make it? <laughs> do you really feel like you can make a change or change the outcome of what's going to happen to your knee? What are you learning? Like, what are you really learning when that's the environment that is created for what's going on with your knees? <laughs> Yep, <laughs> like in that environment, there's nothing you can do because it's almost like you're in a sand trap. The more you try to struggle to get out, the more you're kind of sliding down into it. And you're essentially learning to be helpless. <laughs> there's nothing you can do. It's learned helplessness. The more you're in that environment, the more you're hearing that, that's just how it is. This is as good as your knee's going to get. There's nothing that's going to change. That's just what happens when you get older. And all of these things, the, the existing environment, the conventional approach to knee pain or pain management, what they will move people into, is that you're dependent on someone else for your knee to get better, but it's really not going to get better. It's not a real hopeful outlook. Now, if you're watching this, you're going, you know, Bill, you're wrong. Then I want to hear about it below. I want to hear your experience of where you felt empowered. Who was it? A doctor, a physical therapist that you work with that it was like, yeah, you could really change this around. So I'd like to hear that. And understand that if you're into that, you're in that situation of the learn helplessness and you know, there's like, well, there's nothing I can do. That's just how it is. There's nothing that can, that's going to change. Prove it to me. You know, all that kind of like such a level of skepticism that there's no realm of possibility that would ever change that. Then this video isn't going to be a lot of value for you. You're probably going to want to go talk to your doctor about that or your physical therapist. So, but if it does sound like, huh, yeah, I am surrounded in that environment and there isn't a whole lot I feel like I can do, 
then you want to check out my website, thenipainguru.com. That'll be a good place for you to go because that's all we look at is possibilities. Because if your body is able to get into pain, well, guess what? It's able to get out of pain too. There's a path in, there's a path out. Always is, always will be. That's what I have to share for today. Someone typed in some here. Frosty arthritis, knee injection is good. Ask better questions, get better answers. <laughs> Osteoarthritis is defined by dehydrated joint. Arthritis across the board is, is diagnosed as dehydrated joint. That's the bottom line. And what ends, what's ending up happening when you have a situation where the joint is dehydrating and it's painful and it begins to wear and the more you use it, the faster it's going to wear, the more it's going to dehydrate. You're in a pattern where you can get an injection in the knee, but it's not addressing the pattern that is causing the knee to squeeze out the synovial fluid in the joint. It's a neurological pattern. It is a pattern that has been developed as a result of accidents, injuries, surgeries, trauma. Stress in your life creates tension. Tension that, that shows up in your hips and lower back, your ankles and feet, your hamstrings, your quads. The knee takes the brunt of it. So it squeezes on the knee as well, squeezes out the synovial fluid in the joint, compounded by a lot of times we don't drink enough water. So if we start drinking water, then there's the opportunity for the body to be able to rehydrate the joint. However, it's not addressing the neurological pattern. So your, your, uh, your question is, if we were looking at the entirety of what's going on with arthritis, your question is like this little point over here, if that makes sense. Because, you know, People go for knee injections all the time. However, there are different types of knee injections. There is also a tendency for when the injection wears off for the pain to come back. So it's a short-term strategy at best. Does that make sense? Sush Sushma, let me know. Anyone else? Have questions? No questions? Comments? Nasty remarks? Nothing? You're good. You know everything you need to know about knee pain. Okay. Excellent. So remember to give the video a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel, as well as turn on notifications for future videos. I do these twice a week. We'll be only doing one this week because we've got Thanksgiving. Uh, head over to my website, thekneepainguru.com. Get on the newsletter list. If you're watching this for the first time, if you're from my newsletter list, which they receive this to come over here to further educate them and get involved in one of my introductory programs, which um, you begin getting exposure to the understanding of creating comfort in the joint to relax the tension, to set up the conditions so the pain is relieved at the speed of the reflexes, which fire at 286 miles per hour. Pretty cool stuff. If you're in one of my programs and would like more support, then please reach out as there are private and group coaching programs where I work with clients to get them completely out of pain. And better then a lot of people that you would see in person. Okay, let's see. Hyaluronic acid, or, hyaluronic acid injections are good or no? Um, hi, hi, hyaluronic, that's, I believe that's what it's supposed to be, are good or no. It depends. Um, once again, the um, the injection is not addressing the larger pattern. Hyaluronic acid injections that your body naturally produces hyaluronic acid. Um, 
so it depends on what you mean by good or no. Does that make sense? Like it's, it's good if you don't change your diet, you don't address the neurological patterns that are going on in your knee. Um, you don't increase your water intake. <laughs> like if you don't do any of that, then relatively speaking, hyaluronic acid injections would be good. Um, and if you do those things, um, then your body has the infinite capacity to heal itself. So that's important to understand that we have to look at a comprehensive approach to addressing what's going on with the knee. And it ties in, well, um, building up 2020, uh, talk more about your topic today. We covered that. It's, it's actually pretty simple. If you don't have any hope that you could do anything to change what's going on with your knee, you're pretty helpless. And you learn that. You learn that from the situation and scenario that the medical model has built up which is the nature of Sushma's question. It's, it's the dependence on the injection that it's going to solve what's going on. And if the injection doesn't address what's going on, well, now what? You're not any more empowered before the injection than you are after the injection, hoping that the injection works. So it's kind of taken, you know, handful of spaghetti and thrown against the wall and see what sticks. And the body doesn't necessarily work that way. It's not a crapshoot. There it's a system. You put things in, you put information in, you put water, hydration, uh, water, nutrition, supplementation, stretching, breathing, exercise, mobility, you put all of that in the system and you're going to get a result out on the other side. And if you understand and look at the body as a system, then you become empowered with the knowledge and understanding of your body. But if it's like, oh, my knee hurts and I'm looking at it through, um, through a tunnel and it's like, oh, well, I'll in put an injection in the knee and hope that works. Once again, it's like a crap sheet. And you learn that you can't take care of yourself, that you have no control of what's going on with your knee. And if that's the way you want to roll, great. This is probably not the channel that you want to watch. However, if you want to be empowered and go, okay, got it. I have arthrofibrosis. I have chondromalacia. I have tendonitis. I had a knee replacement surgery. I have bone on bone. I have osteoarthritis. And I want to change it, and I don't want to be dependent on doctors and physical therapists all the time. And I want to be—I don't want to be going to a whole laundry list of different therapists to get my knee better. I would like to learn and understand not only how my knee works, but how my body works, and why, what it feels like if I don't drink enough water, and and this is the reason. Like I could track it back to what's going on. Or if something is in pain, I can get myself out of pain. You're in the right place. How's that? Mr. Building Up, I'm assuming it's a Mr. Building Up 2020. Anyhow, if that doesn't cover it, then um, you'll want to watch a replay. But in the meantime, give the video a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications for future videos. Head on over to my website, get on the newsletter list. There is a special offer for the people that first opt in. And um, if not, I mean, if you're already on the list, then get involved in one of my programs. The Comfort Zone, the Library Package, or the OnRamp. And that's where it's about getting you introduced to my approach. Low risk, no risk way of getting involved in what I'm talking about so you can get some tangible results. Because at this point, you've been, probably feel like you've been lied to a lot. It's like, oh, the surgery is going to make the knee better. Oh, I go to physical therapy. It's going to make the knee better. And a lot of times you get on the other side of those experiences or 
the high hyaluronic acid injection is going to make the knee better. And then it doesn't work. And then what do you do? So that's what I say. Okay. Thank you so much. Bill the Knee Pain Guru going to sign off for today. Have a wonderful day and um, have a great Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. And if not, I will see you next week. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.